This is a book that was written before the foundation of the world. Amen. Containing the names of the elect. Yes. Because the Lamb was slain before the foundation of the world and our names were written in the Lamb's book of life. Do you believe yes. that? Yes. So there is a book, mga kapalit. Just like when you are born on this earth, sinusulat ang pangalan mo sa census. There is a national statistics and uh, census, as, uh, as we know it, nililista ang pangalan mo pag pinanak ka. Same thing in heaven. When you're born on earth, there is a record. Amen. Amen. Wherein in the last days, you will be, uh, in the judgment day, all those things will be open. Yeah. There will be books open. And the Lamb's book of life will be open. Yeah. And they, they were judged according to their works, to what they've done in their body. So we know that this book contains the names of the bride of Jesus Christ. And they were supposed to be born on earth just like Adam and Eve were. Spoken word from the dust of the earth. Na sila'y panganak sa salitain lang ni Lord, sa, sa lupa, at sila'y mabubo kagaya ni Adan at ni Eva. But we know that because of the original sin, because of the, uh, the the eating of the fruit from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, amen, of nothing, it was not forfeit. Yeah. It was forfeited from Adam. Amen. And it went back to the original owner. Because Satan could not hold the book because Satan's hands are dirty. So the message says it went back to the original owner. It went back to God. And it was sealed. Amen. Even in the book of Daniel, it was seen by Daniel. Nakita ni Daniel ang libro. Sabi ng Panginoon, selyohan mo Daniel. Huwag mo muna isusulat. Amen. In Daniel 12.4, sabi dito, shut up the words. Seal up the book till the time of the end. So, the book will be revealed until the end time, mga kapatid. So, we see, mga kapatid, na Adam has to be redeemed. Because this book cannot be cannot be handled by any man. There was no one worthy. If you read Revelation 5, sabi mo, no man is able to open or to, to touch the book. Amen. But there was one worthy. There was a lamb worthy. Praise God. He was a bloody lamb. There was a, a John wept. Alam natin, umiyak si John. At sabi ng boses, what can we have John? We've not John because the lion of the tribe of Judah had he prayed. And we know that was Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. When, when John looked, he did not find a lion. He saw a bloody lamb. Ang nakita niya yung duwag tupa, alam natin si Jesus Christ yun. So dumating si Jesus Christ, pinako sa krus ng Kalbaryo, para ano? Para tubusin ang mga nakasulat sa aklat na yun. Amen. Amen. He needed to redeem those names which were written in the last book of life by His own blood, but redemption did not end at the cross of Calvary. Hindi natapos ang ating katuhusan sa krus ng Calvaryo. Down payment lang yun, mga kapatid. Sana kumpleto ang ating redemption nung kinuha na ng kordero ang aklat at tinanggal ang mga selyo. Revelation 5. The Lamb of God went and took the book out of the one sitting on the throne and released the seals. Hallelujah. And released the mystery of the book. When? In the days of the voice of the seventh angel. Yes. When he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished. Yes. So, makikita natin. So, when John saw the book, it says, uh, the, the, the voice said, seal up the book until... Praise God until the time of the end and then he saw the blood lamb took the book and then released opened the seals and praise God it was sent down to us through a mighty angel. In Revelation 10 you will find a mighty angel came down in a form of a cloud and what? Seven thunders opened their voices and he was carrying a little book open. Amen. In Revelation 10, it was already open. And I believe it was our, we are part of that day. When the seals were open, in 1963, there was a cloud there. Amen. A mystery cloud. That was the coming of the Lord, the mighty angel. It was, the, the cloud was, uh, the, 
the tracks of the seven angels, amen, giving to Brother Branham the mystery of the seven seals. Yes. Amen. 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 So that my angel came down with a little book open and seven thunders, amen, sabi ron, ay tumuno after their voices. Seven thunders after their voices. And you know what the seven thunders are? Yes. Brother said the seven thunders are the seven mystery truths contained inside the seven seals. Amen. Amen. Ang pitong kulog ay pitong mga hiwaga na napapaloob sa pitong selyo. So the seven seals were not the thunders, but the seven seals were the, 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 the what we call the covering. When you release the cover, the seals, you hear the thunder. That's why when we heard the thunder, amen, in Revelation 6, verse 1, praise God, sabi on, when I heard the first thunder, praise God, there was uh, uh, an announcement. An announcement which is the lion, which we know, the first beast announced, which is the lion age, and he said, there was a thunder, and behold, a white horse rider. Amen. So ito rin natin mga kapatid. Because I believe this is history. Amen. This happening is history. What we're waiting now is the body change. The thunders is giving you mysteries or rather rapturing faith so that you can have the body change. Without us knowing the thunders, we can never have a body change. Because this is where the rapturing faith will come. Amen. So magkikita natin, Revelation 10, 1 to 2. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud, and a rainbow, a covenant, was upon his head, and his face was it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire, and he had in his hand a little book, open, the opening of the seven seals. Amen. And then what happened? That was, praise God, in 1963. Life Magazine took the picture and published it on May 17, 1963. That cloud is 26 miles high and 30 miles across. And we know, pag tinagilin nyo yan, mga kapatid, sabi ni Brother Brown, turn it to the right side, and you will see the very picture of the seven angels forming the face of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sabi niya rito, there He is with a white wig. And a white wig represents... Uh, supreme authority yes. like in England the judges they wear wigs to symbolize supreme authority so if you try to uh, put the, the face of Hoffman's painting on this cloud you will find that praise God it fits exactly amen like unto the son of man his head and his hairs were white like wool as white as snow so yan po ang nangyari sa ating panahon mga kapatid so the mighty angel verse 3 cried with a loud voice, as when a lion roared. And when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. And when the seven thunders, which are seven mystery truths, had uttered their voices, I was about to write. Susulat sana ni John, mga kapatid. He wanted to write it, but sabi niya, sabi rito, and I heard a voice from heaven saying, seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered and write them down. This was the time of John in the Isle of Patmos. It was sealed there, but it was opened in our bay. Praise God. Hallelujah. So, makikita natin, here is the quotation, according to Bergman, this messenger of Malachi 4 and Revelation 10, 7 is going to do two things. One, according to Malachi 4, he will turn the hearts of the children to the fathers to he, not other men, not other preachers. But he will reveal the mysteries of the seven thunders in Revelation 10, which are, listen, which are the revelations contained in the seven seals. So the seven thunders are the revelations of the white horse, the red horse, the, 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 the black horse, the souls under the altar. We didn't know these things before. But when the seals were opened, nalaman natin ang mga kahulugan ng mga selyo which we will talk about in a little while. Amen. So, but in the days, verse 10, or rather, Revelation 10, verse 7, but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel. Alam natin, mayroong seven angels and the seventh angel 
is for the age of Laodicea. Amen. So sa araw ng tinig ng ikapitong anghel, when he shall begin to preach, to sound, yes. the mystery, the seventh thunder mystery of God should be finished. Amen. As he had declared to his servants, the prophets. Yes. Propeta po ang magre-reveal, mga kapatid. Yes. Hindi pastor, iba hindi evangelist, hindi teacher. But a prophet will reveal the mystery of God not just a prophet, but the seventh angel or messenger to the seventh church age, which we know that is Brother Branham himself. Amen. He fulfilled that ministry. Amen. He came with a pillar of fire. Yes. We know the first angel was Paul, the second was Irenaeus, the third was Martin, the fourth was Columba during Chatira church age, then Sardis was Luther, Luther's ministry, and Philadelphia was Wesley's ministry. And Laodicea, our age, is Brother Branham's ministry. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ayan po ang pitong anghel o pitong mitsahero yes. na nasa Biblia, mga kapatid. Revelation 1.20, anong sabi roon? The mystery of the seven stars are the seven angels, while the mystery of the seven candlesticks are the seven churches. Amen. Nasusundan po ba natin, mga kapatid? Amen. Okay, tuloy natin. Praise God. So, sa ating panahon, dumating ang pillar of cloud, dumating din ang pillar of fire. Amen. Just like in the Old Testament, they have Moses, a prophet, yes. they have the pillar of cloud by day, and a pillar of fire by night to Amen. give them light, according to Exodus 13.21. Yes. Now, the same manifestations of God dumating sa ating panahon. Yes. There was a whirlwind. Amen. In the time of Brother Branham, nung bata pa siya, naalala nyo, may whirlwind sa puno at sinasabi sa kanya, huwag kang iinom, huwag kang maninigarin niyo dahil mayroon kang gampanin sa paglaki mo. Yes. Then there was this cloud, the pillar of fire, the prophet, the full word. <coughs> Lahat ng manifestation ng Panginoon, praise God, dumating sa ating panahon. Why? We are now at the end time. This is the going home of the bride. Yes. God is manifesting Himself yes. to the world, but the blind can't see it. Right. It is only for the elect. Amen. It is hidden from the eyes of the wise and the prudent. Right. Only the bride. This is the, the third pool, the revelation of the world, is not a public show. Yes. It is hidden from the public. Amen. It is only for those who were predestinated to be the wise virgins. Amen. Amen. Kaya mga kapatid, kompleto ang ating panahon. Yeah. And like in the denomination, they stay with the old manna. They preach the old manna. But now this is the fresh manna. Yeah. The present truth of the age, mga kapatid. Siya ang pinangaral natin dahil ito ang pag-asa ng ating kalwalatihan. Amen. So let's move on now to our main topic, mga kapatid. That was just a refresher course for us. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals. And I heard as it were the noise of thunder. See? Nung mabuksan ang unang selyo, may tumunog na kulo. May thunder. Praise God. And ano sabi ron? One of the four beasts saying, come and see. Mayroong apat na nilalang ang Diyos. Four beasts. What are these four beasts? Let's, uh, let's go back to, to uh, Revelation 4 and 7. Nililaw dito kung sino itong four beasts na ito. Amen. Sabi rito, and the first verse, beast was like a lion. And the second beast is like a calf. Parang baka, parang lawa. And the third beast had a face of a man. And the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. Ayan pala yung four creatures of God announcing the four seals. Yes. Because if you notice, sa fifth, sixth, seventh seals, wala ng creatures doon. Wala ng announcement. Bakit? Tapos na ang rapture doon. Right. Amen. The rapture goes up during the Eagle Age. Yes. Sa ating panahon, panahon ng Agila, lilipat tayo patungong kalawakan. Yes. Sa tungong tayo sa Eric and Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Nasusundan niyo ba mga kapatid? Yes. You know, teaching brings you into a position. Amen. Sabi ni Brother preaching convicts you. But teaching brings you into spiritual adaption. Nilalagay ka sa posisyon na nalalaman mo ang plano ng Diyos at hindi ka nangangapakuhan ng mga mangyayari sa kinabukasan. 
When the Holy Ghost comes, He will show you things to come and He will guide you into all truth. Sa mga bago. Kaya ito ang katotohanan, mga kapatid. We're not talking about fable or a story that you taken from a comic book. No, this is the Bible. And the Bible is the truth. And the Bible is in hidden symbols because it's hidden from the Unbeliever. Right. Naralan niyo si Jesus Christ. Yes. Tinanong siya ng mga apostol. Sabi niya, Lord, why, why are you talking in parables? Because it is for you to know the mystery of the kingdom, but it's not for them to know the yes. mystery of the kingdom. Yes. So naunawa natin kung bakit tayo lang ang nakakita. Amen. Ang bride lang ang nakakita nito at tumanggap nito minsahe sa uling kapanahonan because this is only for the elect. Amen. If you're not elect, you can never believe this. Right. Yeah. You will refute this. Yeah. You will uh, contradict this. Yeah. Just like the Pharisees contradicted Jesus Christ. Amen. Si Jesus ng katawang tao, ang Diyos, anong tawag nila? Bilsibu, Diablo, Kulto. Ganun din ang tatawag, tatawag ng mga tao sa katuruan ito dahil hindi nila naunawaan. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But there will be no excuse in the last days. Yes. Amen. Tinalikuran mo ang katotohanan at sabi ron, wala nang pag-asa pa kapag ikaw ay nag-blaspheme. If you talk evil, if you say bad words, if you say uh, things to blaspheme this truth, sabi ng Bible, there's no more mercy for that. So tuloy natin, mga kapatid. So nung mabuksan ang unang selyo, ano po ang nakita? There was a white horse rider. Amen. So what was the horse riders symbolize? Ito po, basahin natin. Revelation 6, verse 1 and 2. And I saw, behold, a white horse. Nung mabuksan ng first seal, announced by the lion, there was a white horse. And he that sat on him had a bow. And a crown was given unto him, and he went for conquering and to conquer. Remember, mga kapatid, this is an impersonation of Jesus Christ. Right. Because Jesus Christ will also come in a white horse in Revelation 19. But this one has a bow, but he has no arrow. May pana siya, pero walang palaso. Ibig sabihin, blocker. An impersonator of Jesus Christ. Didn't Jesus say in Matthew 24, verse 5, Sabi niya rito, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. So the white horse rider symbolizes impersonation and deception. Amen. It represents the Nicolaitanes spirit. Yeah. Alam niyo ang Nicolaitanes? Nico means to conquer. Laos or Laitan means the lady. This was a spirit that wanted to conquer the people and take them away from the word, from the Bible, but teach the doctrines of man. So kaya nangyari mga kapatid, that was the day, the first age when Paul was the minister. minister. In exposed niya ang mga gawa ng false Christ. In Galatians 1.8, anong sabi niya? Anong sabi niya ron? Ha? Sa Galatians 1.8, even if an angel come with another doctrine different from what we have preached, let him be accursed. Yes. So, alam natin si Satanas is an angel. He can take the form of a preacher to deceive the elect if it were possible. So kaya makikita natin, ang unang kabalyo nito ay sinimbolo ng isang uh, impersonation of Christianity na nagda nagdala ng libadura sa panahon ng iglesia which is Ephesians, uh, Church Age, and uh, then move on to, to alam natin sa Ismirnian, uh, uh, yes, uh, Ismirnian, Church Age, and then ito na mga kapatid, yung second seal. Nung mabuksan yung pangalawang tatak mga kapatid, Take note, because this is important. Merong nag-anunsyo na muli. There was a beast announcing it. At ang sabi nito, And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast. What was the second beast? The calf. Yung baka. And sabi nito, Come and see, there went out another horse that was red. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace. From the earth, alisin ang kapayapaan sa mundo. And they should kill, that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. So yung pangalawa mga kabayo, mga kapatid, ay mayroong malaking tabak. At inalis niya ang kapayapaan sa mundo at pinagpapatay 
ang mga tao sa pamamagitan ng tabak na yun, which we know, this is a symbol of the dark ages. Yes. Kung saan pinagpapatay ang mga kristyano. Amen. Amen. Makikita natin na uh, sabi nito, and other had trial of cruel mockings, Hebrews 11. Moreover, bonds of imprisonment, they were stoned, they were sown asunder, they were tempted, and were slain with a sword. Yes, right. Amen. Ito po ay nangyari noong dark ages. Holy Inquisition. Noong pinagpapatay ang 68 million Protestant ng Roman Catholic Church. Basahin yung history, mga kapatid. Even Pope John Paul II, oh. he apologized. Year 2000. Right. To have uh, uh, murdered these people in the dark ages. Praise God. So makikita natin na ito po ay nangyari na. Why? Why cow or cow? Dahil po, a cow or a cow is the beast of sacrifice. Yes. In the first age, it was a lion, boldness of the gospel, represented by Paul and Irenaeus. But here, it was a cow, a beast of sacrifice represented by the, the, the mis, uh, messenger of the age, which is Columba. They were given a, a spirit of sacrifice. Alam nyo, baka kahit, pa, kahit gamitin mo yan sa pagsasaka, kahit gamitin mo yan, tagahakot ng, ng karitela, hindi po yan nagre-reklamo. Ganun din, ang panahon ng mga Kristiyano dito, hindi sila nagreklamo kahit sila yung pinapatay na, pinupugutan ng ulo, sinusunog doon sa arena, pinapakain sa leon, they were still smiling Amen. and giving their life really for the sake of the gospel. Amen. That was the, the age of the top, mga kapatid. So dumaan na ito. So ito pa lang, mga selyo, mga kapatid, ay mga bagay na magaganap after sa panahon ni Jesus Christ. Because pinakita ito ni John, the beloved, in the Isle of Patmos, things that are to, to happen thereafter, sabi roon. So ngayon, alaman na natin ito na nangyari. This is past. Then we move on to the third seal. Nung mabuksan ang pangatlong selyo, anong nakita mga kapatid? Praise God, isang maitim black horse rider, when he had opened the third seal, and I heard the third beast announcing. Sino yun? Face of a man. Pangatlong, amen, uh, beast of God is the face of a man, announcing the black horse rider. And I beheld, sabi dito, come and see, lo, a black horse, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances. May timbalan sa kamay yung nakasakay doon. Para ano? Sabi dito, and I heard a voice in the midst of the four be saying, a measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. Ano ito mga kapatid? This has already transpired. Yes. During the days when the Catholic Church, amen, they have what? Charged money for novenas. Charged money for souls in purgatory. They charge money for what we call indulgences, prayers. May timbangan ang nakasakay. Pinagbibili na ang kaligtasan sa panahon na ito. So nakita niyo mga kapatid, this was the days of reformation. In the days of Luther, in the days of Wesley. Yes. When they countered this false teaching of purgatory. Walang purgatory sa Bible mga kapatid. Right. This is a man-made doctrine. That's why Jesus... <laughs> Was, was so angry at the, at the parishes. Sabi niya, you have made the word of God of, of none effect by your traditions. Amen. By your commandments of man. So, purgatory, you can never find the doctrine of purgatory in the Bible. It's an added thing, my brothers and sisters. And you cannot add or take away to the Bible without your your name taken off at the, from the book of life. So, kaya na nangyari dito, mga kapatid, this was the age of the man, the face of a man. Bakit face of a man? Reformers. You know, man is the, the smartest of all beasts. Amen. Because we were created like the animals. We have uh, what the animals have, we have, but they don't have a soul. We have a soul. Yeah. We were created in the image of God. Inside of you is your soul, which came from God. That's why He redeemed man. Amen. Amen. Kaya tayo, tinubos ng Diyos dahil mahalaga sa Kanya yung kaluluwa mo. Amen. Ito kahit mamatay ito, basta yung kaluluwa mo ligtas. Amen. Pagdating ng Panginoon, tatawagin niya muli. Ang katawan mo mabubuo into a glorified body. 
papalitan niyo ang dati mo nga dati mo nga physical na anyo kung ikaw may matanda na magiging bata ka Amen. Amen You will turn back to a young man or woman You will never get sick when that thing happen So kaya makikita natin the man age is the reformer's age Sabi nito that's not my anointed that's not the oil and the wine hurt not the oil Ano yung ibig sabihin? Huwag mong saktan ang aking mga anointed. Oil symbolizes the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And wine symbolizes the stimulation of revelation. So sa panahon nito, mayroong mga anointed men. Luther, Wesley, Knox, Calvin, Pinole, Moody. Sila yung mga missionary sa panahon na ito mga kapatid na kinounter nila ang black horse rider. So this is history, my friends. Nangyari na ito, at ngayon lang natin alaman nung na-impress ito ng pangpitong mensahero. Amen. 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 And then, pang-apat na selyo. Ano nangyari? Mayroon pong nag-anunsyo. Nung mabuksan, pang-apat na selyo, ang narinig ko ang pang-apat na nilalang. Sabi ito, ano yung pang-apat na nilalang? The eagle, mga kapatid. Binasa natin kanina. And sabi ito, when he had opened the fourth seat, nung mabuksan ang pang-apat na tatak, I heard the voice of the fourth beast, which is the eagle, say, Come and see. And I looked, tumingin si John, and behold, a pale horse. Nakita niya isang mga kabayo, isang kabayo maputla. You know, pale is gray. And gray is a mixture of white, red, and black. All the power of the white horse rider, black horse rider, red horse rider are in this last rider. Amen. Sabi nito, and his name that sat on him was death. Kamatayan ang nakaupo rito. And hell followed him, ang impyerno na kasunod sa kanya. My. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of their to kill with the sword. Kill, which is the red, uh, the, the, the red horse rider. And with hunger, famine, black horse rider, and with death, and with the peace of the earth, mga kapatid. So makikita natin, this is the rider sa ating panahon. You know, the rider today is the pale horse rider. Ito ang panahon natin because this is the age of the eagle. Eagle age means prophetic age. Kaya nga dito rin pinadala ang propeta sa ating panahon. In the days of the Laodicean church age, dito ay pinanganap si Brother Branham, 1909, 1906 was the start of the Laodicean Church. Yeah. So kaya makikita natin, praise God, siya ang nag-preach dito sa atin. Read the book, Revelation of the Seven Seals. I don't know if I have it here, but praise God, kung meron kayo dito, mga kapatid, the Revelation of the Seven Seals by William Marion Branham. In 1963, nandito dito lahat yung mga hiwaga dito ang aking binabanggit sa inyo. Amen. Praise God. Nasa minsahe lang ito, mga kapatid. Kaya kung bride ka, malalaman mo ito. Amen. If you're not bride, you will ignore this and you won't have interest in this yeah. and and you will never realize that this is what's happening right now. Yeah. Prophecy. Modern events made clear by prophecy. Yeah. Amen. So, ano nangyari, mga kapatid, sa ating panahon? Ang akila ay siya po ang nag-anonsyo, mga kapatid, ng, praise God, ng uh, panguli mga kapatid. The lion, the ox, the face of the man, announces, announce the white horse, the red horse, the black horse, and the pale horse. Ayan po ang nangyari sa ating panahon. And then after the eagle age, ano mangyari? Rapture. Because the fifth seal is about Israel. About Jesus coming back to Israel. Amen. 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 Which started in the persecution of the nuclear holocaust. Mga kapatid. Tingnan nyo. Fifth seal. Ano nangyari? Wala nang nag-a-announce. Wala nang nag-a-anunsyo. Bakit? Ito ay panahon na para sa mga Udyo. Which started, I believe, when the Jews were persecuted in the days of Hitler and Mussolini. Basahin natin. Let's read it. Verses 9 and 11 of Revelation 6. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw the altar under the altar, the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. Nakita ko ang mga kaluluwa sa 
sa ilalim ng altar na sila'y pinaslang dahil sa salita ng Diyos at sa kanilang patutuo na kanilang pinahawakan. Sino ito mga kapalit? Ito yung mga Hudyo. Sa panahon ni Hitler Mussolini. Second World War. Tingnan nyo. And they cried with a loud voice. Saying, How long, O Lord? Kailan? Gano'ng katagal, Panginoon? Banal at totoo. Holy true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? Kailan mo kami, Panginoon, ipaghiganti sa kanila na mga nananahan sa mundo? Praise God. These are not the bride. Because the bride will not ask for revenge. Yes. The bride turned the other cheek. Yes. Diba? Pag tayo sinampal sa kanan, pag di kaliwa, ipapasampal mo. Yes. Pero ito, naghihingi ng paghihiganti. A tooth for a tooth and an eye for an eye. So, sino ito? Mga Israelita ito, mga kapatid. And white robes were given unto them, every one of them. And it was said unto them, listen, it was said unto them that they should rest. Magpahinga muna kayo dyan. Rest for a little season until their fellow servants also. Sino itong fellow servants? The 144,000. Until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. Antayin nyo muna ang tribulation period kung saan papatayin ang Antikristo ang inyong mga kapatirang mga hudyo na walang iba ay binig the 144,000. So we see, mga kapatid, fifth seal started already, Brother Marlon said, because fifth seal is the persecution of the Jews, it even started in AD 70, when General Titus conquered Rome and killed all the Jews. Hanggang sila nagkawatak-watak, napunta sila sa iba-ibang bansa, ang mga Ujo, na wala ang bansang Israel. Remember that. Why? Because they asked for it. They were punished by God because they crucified Jesus Christ. Naalala nyo? Remember? They said, let His blood be upon us and upon our children. Crucify Him, crucify Him. The Jews were saying that. Let His blood be upon us and upon our children. So, anong nangyari? Isiningil ngayon ang Diyos. Ginusto nyo yan. Ngayon, siningil ng Diyos ang dugo ng Panginoon sa mga Hudyo. Sa panahon ni Hitler, they were killed in gas chambers. They were killed. They were tortured in, in concentration camps. So it was a prophecy being fulfilled. Right. Because they, they, they asked for it, mga kapatid. Yes. Kaya makikita natin, ito ang fifth seal is the persecution of the Jews until the tribulation period. So yan po ang nangyari. So sixth seal, punta tayo sa pang-anim na selyo. Are you still there? Amen. Yes. Okay. Tribulation period, sixth seal, mga kapatid. After na matawag na yung mga Israelita, after na marapture tayo, babalik ang Ibanghelyo sa Israel para sila ay makatanggap ng Messiah. Is that right? They're waiting now for their Messiah. Jews are coming back to their homeland. Amen. For the Feast of Atonement. Amen. Feast of the Trumpet for us. We have a trumpet that's the rapture. In the last trump, we shall all be changed. The last trump is the seventh trumpet. Amen. For the Jews. We have only one drum, the last drum. When that sound, rapture tayo. And then simultaneously, Moses and Elijah will come down, yeah. Revelation 11 prophets, to minister to the Jews. Amen. Revelation 11, the two olive trees, the two candlesticks. Amen. They will call out the 144,000 back to the Lamb, which is Jesus Christ. And they will receive Jesus. They will be baptized in the name of Jesus. And they will be born again just like we were born again. So kaya ano nangyari mga kapatid? Sa tribulation period, let's read. Revelation 6, 12 to 17. For I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, nung mabuksaan ang pangarin na tata, ano nangyari? Remember, wala nang nag-a-announce. No? Lo, there was a great earthquake. My. Great earthquake. Nagkaroon ng matinding lindol. Baka ito na yung babagsak sa California. Mga kapatid. And the sun become black. Nagkaroon ng eclipse, mga kapatid. As a sublet of hair. And the moon became as black. Amuan ay nagkulay dugo. My. And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth. Mga meteors. Nagumpisa na sa Russia. Yes. Diba? Nagumpisa na sa Russia. Meteor. 
Praise God. Sa tribulation, mas grabe. Hmm. Dahil babatuhin ng Diyos ang patoto. Sabi ng Bible, He will he will throw stones unto her who committed spiritual adultery and fornication. It's a church, mga kapalit. Babylon, mystery Babylon, babatuhin siya sa Babylon and Babylon will be fallen. Yeah. Praise God. So, even, even as a victory casted her untimely feet when he is taken of a mighty wind, and the heaven departed as a scroll, and it is rolled as when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. Baba, bundok at isla ay nagalaw at nawala sa kanilang dating kinalalagyan. Grabe earthquake ito mga kapatid. Sa tribulation period, pakakawal na. Lahat ng mga matitinig uh, lindol, volcanic eruption, mga nuclear weapon, magkakaroon ng third world war. Why? Because this earth will be renovated by fire. Yes. Amen. Yes. This will be baptized with fire. Yes. Amen. Remember, the earth goes through the same process of a new birth just like we do. Yes. We were baptized in water and then we were uh, sanctified by the blood of Jesus. And then we receive the Holy Spirit baptism, which is the fire and the Holy Ghost. Yes. That John was saying, He will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire. Amen. Bago ka naging, naging new creature. The same thing with this earth. Bago maging new earth ito sa millennium, ay ano, it went through a baptism of water when? In the time of Noah. Binautismoan sa tubig, ang mundo sa panahon ni Noah the first 2,000 years. Yes. Because one day with the Lord is 1,000 years on earth. Yes. First 2,000 years, Noah ministered to the last end time elect and then the earth was baptized with water. Then the next 2,000 years, Jesus came down. Yes. Hallelujah. <clears throat> He shed His blood on this earth. Amen. So water, then blood, and then the last 2,000, which is our age, it will be a baptism of fire. Amen. Yes. Susunog yung mundo. Basahin nyo ang 2 Peter, I believe, chapter 3, kung saan ang mundo, sabi nyo ay magniningas ang kalawakan. Amen. It will be burned with fervent heat. And this word, praise God, will be burned and volcanic eruption will come out papalitan ang, ang lupain na ito tatakpan kagaya nung nang, nangyari sa Mount Pinatubo remember ashes covered Pampanga the same thing the new earth ashes volcanic eruption will cover her there will be no stone above any stone that will not fall down all the buildings will be shaken yeah. by intensity 9 intensity 10 or earthquakes ngayon hindi pa kasi nandito pa tayo yeah. ayaw ni Lord na maapektuhan tayo yeah. dahil mahal niya ang bride yeah. Jesus, kukunin niya muna tayo. Ilalayo niya tayo, irarapture niya tayo bago mangyari ito sa tribulation period. Amen. At yung mga iwanan, yung mga foolish virgin, mga denominational Christian na hindi tumanggap ng message, na bulagan sila, malalala, oh, dapat may rapture, ba nandito pa tayo, tribulation na. Because they did not have the oil. Yeah. And the oil is the revelation of the Holy Spirit by the message of the hour. Uh, one day, magsisisi sila. Yes. Yeah, yeah. right. Dahil, praise God, ito na ang huling biyahe, mga kapatid. Ito na ang huling, huling uh, panahon ng Laodicea. Wala ng eight church age. What's next is end time tribulation. Hallelujah. So, kaya makikita nyo rito, babaguhin ang mundo para maging bagong hardy ng event. Yes. Bababa ang pangalawang adan. Sa after the Armageddon War, Everything will be burned and uh, the righteous shall walk upon the ashes of the wicked. Malakai, sabi no. Why? Because we will come down from the seventh dimension mula sa palasyo na dalit tayo ni Jesus. Revelation 19, makikita nyo. Nakasakay siya sa kabayong puti. Kasama niya ang kanyang mga elect, ang mga saints na nakasakay din sa kabayong puti. Para ano? Para isubdue ang lahat ng mga lumalaban sa Israel at tayo ay manahan na dito sa loob ng isang limong taon. Amen. Amin nyo, the seven, seven, one thousand years on earth, which is, I believe, 
ang panahon ng honeymoon of the second Adam and the second bride. Ayun yun, mga kapatid. Mag-honeymoon si Christ at ang nobya after nalinisin ang mundo ito by atomic fire and tribulation period. So are you happy that you are part of the electric sea of God? Nakasama tayo roon, mga kapatid, Amen. sa plano na yun ng Diyos. Magahari tayo rito sa millennium. We will be in our glorified body. Hindi ka na tatanda, hindi ka na magugutom, hindi ka na mauhaw, hindi ka na magkakasakit. Praise God, you will live for eternity. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are Christ with Jesus, our Lord. Amen. And Savior. Amen. 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 Sabi nito, tuloy natin, And the kings of the earth and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, hid themselves in the dens. Nagtago sila, natapot sila kay Lord sa kanyang pagbabalik. And in the rocks of the mountain, it said to the mountains and rocks, Follow us! Bumagsak ka na lang sa amin! And hide us from the face of Him that sitteth on the throne! And from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of His wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand? So, ang tribulation period, mga kapatid, the six seals, sabi ni Brother Branham, is threefold. There are three things, three major things that will happen in the tribulation period. One is, it will be the purging of the foolish virgins. Amen. Yung mga maiiwan ng Kristiyano, ang mga tinawag ng foolish virgin, bakit sila tinawag ng virgin, pure, sanctified din sila, kulang lang nila, ang Holy Spirit. Amen. They were justified, they were sanctified, but they did not have the oil the baptism of the Holy Spirit, so they were left behind. Ano ang nangyari? They, they will be tortured by the Antichrist. They will die for their faith. Yes. Because they will not take the mark of the beast. So, maliligtas din sila because of their faith, but they will shed their own blood. Unlike the bride, <coughs> the bride, ang, ang ating Panginoon ang nabuhos ng dugo para sa atin. Amen. 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 Why? Because that was our tribulation. We were in that body when Jesus was at the cross. So, my brother Brown, we will not go through the tribulation anymore because Jesus already went through the tribulation for us. Amen. 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 He was wounded there for our transgression. He was bruised. Amen. He was made sin for us to be made righteous. So there's no way for the bride to go through the tribulation period because we were already paid. The price is already paid at the cross, so the bride goes home in glory Amen. before the tribulation comes in. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. That's the truth, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. The bride will not go through the tribulation. Yes. So, Pangalawang quote, it's the calling out of the 144,000. You know, uh, Jesus, God will not deal with the Gentile and the Jew at the same time. Right. When the, uh, the, the uh, iniquity of the Amorites is fulfilled, meaning the Gentile days are over, then we will all go home and Jesus will come back and reveal Himself to Israel. Naalala nyo? Si Joseph? Joseph revealed Himself to his brethren. Yes. And Joseph is a type of Jesus Christ. Amen. He was sold for 30 pieces of silver by his brethren. Right. Yes. Amen. He was in prison and there was uh, two servants there. One was saved. And one was killed, yes. the butler and the baker. Yes. And at the cross, Jesus was there. There was there was two thieves in there. Right. One was saved and one was lost. Amen. Right. Amen. And then uh, when Pharaoh knew G Joseph had gift, he was he became governor. Yes. And Jesus, when he was raised up from the dead, he became praise God, the Lord of all and the King of Kings. He was raised up, and one day he be he revealed himself to his brethren. Yes. Remember? Sino asawa ni Joseph? Si Asinat. And Asinat was was uh, first driven away, safe in the safe in the palace before Joseph. <coughs> Amen. Cried, shed his tears in front of his brethren. And Jesus will also reveal himself to his brethren. Amen. And show his wounds. And the, the Bible said, uh, they asked, where did you get your wounds? He said, from the house of my friends. And then they will, they will, uh, they will uh, blame themselves. They will wear sackcloths. Magsusuk sila ng mga sako sa minang Biblia. Mag, magsisisi sila. They will repent and they will uh, have remorse because they have crucified their own Messiah. But Jesus will say, blame not yourself. 
Yes. Huwag nyo nang sisihin ang sarili nyo. Ginawa nyo lahat yan para ma-preserve ang life ng bride. Amen. You need it to preserve the life of the Gentiles. Amen. Yes. Because if you are not blinded, this Bible, this gospel will not go to the Gentile. It will remain in Israel. Kaya pasalaman tayo na binulagi ng Diyos ang Israel. Israel will only be her servant or his servant and bride magiging queen of heaven. Yes. We will be queen. We are Mrs. Jesus Christ. Amen. Kumuha ng bride si Jesus hindi sa Israel kundi sa mga Gentile. Yes. Remember, Joseph's wife is a Gentile. Moses' wife is a Gentile. Si Pura. Praise God. So makikita niyo mga kapatid. Amen. Jesus will reveal himself to the 144,000 in the day of the tribulation period. Remember when Moses went out of Israel, there was tribulation. Yeah. Maraming mga salot na nagaganap. Amen. At mangyayari yan habang tinatawag din ang Israel palabas sa Judaism, palabas sa politika, amen, there will be tribulations around the world. Right. Because it's their exodus again. Mm -hmm. That's the Israelites' exodus in the end time. Yeah. And the third uh, fold of the Mystery of the sixth seal is disturbance of nature. Purging of nature. Pagkakawala na ni Lord lahat ng mga salot. Mga kalimari-kalimarin na sakit. Incurable diseases will be released. Amen. The 200 million demons will be released upon this earth. Amen. And they will cause the earth. They will cause plagues, you know. And there will be Moses and Elijah too. Revelation 11. And they turn the, the water into blood. And they close... The, the heavens that it rained not in the days of their prophecy for three and a half years. Right. Sino yun? Si Moses and Elijah. Amen. Ipapadala sa Israel. Amen. Amen. Because Israel believed in the prophets. Yeah. They won't believe in theologians. They believe in, their pro believe in their prophets. Remember, Moses and Elijah, nakita sila saan? Sa Mount Transfiguration. They were alive. Yes. Di ba nagpakita si, si Lord Jesus sa mundo? Inala niya doon si James, si Peter, John, three witnesses in the New Testament, yes. and three witnesses in the Old. There was Elijah, Moses, and Lord Jesus. Yes. At sabi nila ni Moses, or ni Peter, Peter said, Lord, let us make three tabernacles, let us make three denominations, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. And while he was saying that, there was a cloud overshadowing the three of them. And the cloud disappeared, and there was only Jesus. Yes. And the voice said, this is my beloved son in whom I am pleased to dwell in. Hear ye him. Amen. Yes. So, ipakinggan niyo siya, hindi na si Moses and Elijah, not the law and the prophets anymore. <clears throat> because salvation now is by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. Amen. So, makikita natin, mga kapatid, that Moses and Elijah will be sent by God yes. for the Jews. Amen. Wala na tayo, no? Amen. Nanunood na lang tayo, dumudungaw na lang tayo sa langit habang sila ay Amen. tinatawag ng ating Panginoon. And they will be killed, sabi ron. Praise God, Moses and Elijah will be killed. Read the right, right, Revelation 11. And they will also be raptured after three days. Read the whole chapter of Revelation 11. And so after that, mga kapatid, we find that after the sixth seal is the last seal. The seventh seal. Okay, ano nangyari sa seventh seal? Let us read. Revelation chapter 8, verse 1 is the seventh seal. And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. Nagkaroon ng katahimikan sa langit sa loob ng halos kalahating oras nung mabuksan ang pangpitong selyo. Amen. Okay, mga kapatid. Why was there silence in heaven? Brother Bernard said, there was no worship, there was no singing, all the angels hushed because the Savior was not in heaven. Yes. The Savior came down. Yes. Amen. For the rapture of the church. Amen. Amen. Bumaba ang Panginoon pagdating ng Panginoong Selyo. Sabi ni Brother Brown, the seventh seal is the coming of the Lord. And the coming of the Lord is threefold. There will be three signs. Brother Brown said, he does all three things while he is descending. What are those? Shout, voice, and trump. Yes. While he is descending. So mga kapatid, a rapture is a process. Amen. The rapture is not an immediate twinkling of an eye, no? It has to come first with a shout. 
For the Lord Himself will come down from heaven with a shout. Revelation, or rather, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, 17. That's the connection of Revelation 8. For the Lord Himself, mismo siya, ang Panginoon bababa. From heaven, we the shout. What is a shout? A message. Calling out the people. Come out from Babylon. Yeah. Amen. That angel coming out or calling out the bride from denominationalism. Amen. There was a shout and then there's a voice. Yeah. We know the voice of God is through the mouthpiece of God. Amen. 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 That's His voice. Amen. And that voice will resurrect. One day it will call out the dead in Christ to resurrect. Just like the voice that called out Lazarus. Amen? From the dead. And that voice also awakened us from our slumber. Yes. We were sleeping before in the dead denomination. And when we heard the voice, hallelujah, nabuksan tayo, nawala yung ating spiritual amnesia. Hindi pala credo o dogma ang magliligtas. Hindi religion ang magliligtas sa tao. Kundi salvation is by relationship with Jesus Christ our Lord. To receive Him in the present truth. To receive Him sa panahon natin sa fulfillment ng Kanyang pagpapakita sa atin. Amen. Hallelujah. So this is triple shout, voice, and then trump of God. Trumpeta. Pakakak ng Diyos. Para saan? Alam niyo, pakakak sa Israel? If you go to Israel, there are many symbols or many sounds for a trumpet. There is a sound for a battle. There is a sound of a trumpet for a feast. There is a sound for worship. There is a sound for almost anything. That's why the Bible said, if the trumpet sounds an uncertain sound, who will who will uh, prepare? Who will know how to prepare himself? Sabi ro. Kaya kung trumpet na ito mga kapatid, ito yung trumpeta na magdadala sa atin sa kapistahan, sa lahat. The trumpet calling out the bride to the feast, the wedding supper in heaven. And the dead in Christ shall rise first, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Amen. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Yes. Amen. So itong seven seal, mga kapatid, na kumpisa. Yes. The rapture has already started, yes. but it will culminate in the changing of our bodies. Ito ay matatapos sa pagpapalit ng ating katawan. Nag-umpisa ito nung marinig mo ang shout, ang mensahe. At nung marinig mo ang mensahe, na-born again ka. Yeah. Di ba? You must be born again. Except a man be born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Yes. So nung marinig mo ang mensahe, praise God, ano nangyari? Nagsisi ka. Tinupad mo yung Acts 2.38. Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Tinupad natin yon. At, praise God, tayo ay nakikinig na ng nakikinig. Sa mensahe, you get ripened when you feed upon the truth, the Word of God. You feed upon the Word, precept upon precept, and you become pregnated by the Word. Amen. Ready for the wedding. At the, uh, the wedding supper. You know, the, the marriage take place on the earth, mga kapatid. Because that is only a wedding supper. That the marriage of the Lamb and the Bride happens here when you receive Him when you make a vow to Jesus that I receive you, Lord, as my Savior, my bridegroom, and my King, and my Lord, and then you are married to Jesus Christ. Because you made a vow. Amen. And now you are preparing for the going home. Yes. Amen. Amen. So, kaya mga kapatid, ang seventh seal nag noong 1963. Kahit ito nasa huli, one, two, three, four, five, six, but it's not sequential. The seventh seal actually <coughs> opened all the other seals. Yes. Do you do you believe that? Yes. Amen. Because the seventh seal was came. Uh, it happened in 1963 when that cloud, the mighty angel, came down and revealed to Brother Branham, opened the seals, and Brother Branham preached on the first, second, third, fourth, until the seventh. Yes. So without the seventh seal happening in 1963. The first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh seal cannot be opened. Right. So, kailangan muna mangyari. The seventh seal has to happen first before all the other seals are open. Yes. yes. So, the seventh seal took place, mga kapatid. Amen. Started in 1963. The mighty angel came down with an open book, gave it to his prophet, Revelation 10, 7, the prophet preached the mysteries. Now, we are now, Revelation 8, 11. Or rather, Revelation chapter 10, verse 
verse is 8 to 11, we are now fulfilling the bride ministry. Amen. Basahin natin mamaya, mga kapatid. Hallelujah. So we find out here that the seven churches, they took place the, during the first seals, and then the, the sixth seal, seventh, the, the fifth seal, tribulation, and the seventh seal is uh, uh, what we call uh, encompassing. From 1963 hanggang sa coming of the Lord in the millennium, I believe, is still part of the coming of the Lord. Because the seventh seal is the end of time, and time only ends when? At the end of the millennium. Yes. Because the millennium is still a time limit. Yes. It's still 1,000 years, Amen. and the seventh seal is the end of time. Yes. So from 1963 to the end of the millennium is the coming of the Lord. Raining down upon this earth as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Yan mga kapatid, ang katotohanan. Amen. Praise God. So kaya makikita natin, here's the timeline of the seven seals, if you notice it. The fifth seal is encompassing as well. Fifth seal, praise God, pinatay ang mga Hujo. Praise God, in 1941, and uh, even in 1870, until the tribulation. That's the fifth seal. And then the sixth seal is tribulation period. And the seventh seal started in our age. The rapture until Jesus and His bride reigns upon this earth in the millennium. Yes. Nakikita po ba natin mga kapatid? Amen. Nasusundan po ba natin mga kapatid? Yes. I know this is uh, something deep mga kapatid. Mm. But this is, hindi na deep ito. Right. Ito ay simple na lang ngayon. Right. Because uh, even a child will not err therein in the revelation. Amen. It's open for those bride who were elected before the foundation of the world. Amen. So tayo ngayon, last quote mga kapatid. We are now fulfilling the ministry of Revelation 10, verse 8 to 11. Revelation 10, 7 seal, mighty angel coming. Then the seventh angel preaches the open book. And now, we are now eating the open book. Can we say amen? amen. Hallelujah. Ito po. Hallelujah. Let's see. Because John types the bride. Sabi rito sa verse 8. And the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again. And said, Go and take the little book, which is open in the hand of the angel, which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And sabi rito, and I went to the angel. Praise God. Si John, a type of the bride, we went to the angel. And said unto him, Give me the little book. Give me the open book. And he said unto me, Take it. Kunin mo, sige. And eat it up. Kainin mo. Hallelujah. And it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet at, as honey. So, di ba ganyan ang bitsahe? Yeah. Amen? Pag tinanggap natin, napakasarap sa, sa bibig natin, napakasarap pag-sharing sa pag-usapan natin. But sa ating tiyan, sa pamumuhay, mapait ipamuhay ang mensahe. Maraming persecution. Maraming trials. Pero you have eaten that little book. Amen? Amen. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand. Verse 10. And I ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. Hallelujah. Finally, last. This is the last commission. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples, nations, and tongues, and kings. The angel was talking to John, which is a type of the bride. The angel was talking to the bride. Prophesy again. What is prophesy? To declare. To preach. To propagate the message. Saan? Sa mga bansa, sa mga tao, sa mga wika, at sa mga hari. That's what we're doing now. We are sharing this message through the internet. We're sharing the message through Mystery Expos, through magazines, through reading materials, through tapes, and through word of mouth. One on one, kayo na chishe. Why? You are fulfilling Revelation 10, 11, prophesying again, Amen. bringing Jesus Christ, the revealed Amen. word, to the world today. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yan ang ministry natin, mga kapatid. Now we see where we are standing. Amen. We have seen the mystery of God revealed in our day. At huwag na tayong lumakad pa sa kadiliman. Sabi ng Bible. Walk in the light. The message of the hour. 
For if you walk in the light, we have fellowship one with another. Amen. And the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses you from all sins. Amen. Kaya mga kapatid, ang pagpunta sa church, hindi lang ito yung nakaupo na tayo dyan, no? Okay. Hindi lang ito yung nagbabayad ka ng cash, kumakanta ka, okay yung lahat. Pero ang pinakamagportante ay ang malaman mo ang hiwaga ng Diyos na ginawa niya sa ating panahon. Yeah. Amen! Ito ang nag-transpire sa ating panahon, mga kapatid. It's transpiring now and we're just waiting for a going home. Yes. For the rapture. Amen. Because without knowing the mysteries, The rapture is a revelation to the bride. Yes. The prophet said, it has to be revealed to you that the rapture comes through the shout, the voice, and the trump of God, and then we will have a change of body. Magkakaroon tayo ng papalit ng katawan. So mga kapatid, hindi na ito basta-basta lang kagaya ng Pentecostal na awitan, sayawan, kantahan. Don't be, don't be what we call satisfied with all those first pull and second pull. Yes. You must be satisfied with the third pool, yes. the repeating yes. of the word. Yes. Amen. Yes. Alam niyo ba yung first pool, second pool? Tinuro kay Brother Branham yan. Pag nangingisda ka, sabi niya maglagay ka ng bulate. <coughs> doon sa pain, doon sa hook. Ano? At sabi niya, pag inihulog mo at nakita ng malilit na isda, hatakin mo lang dahan-dahan para yung malilit na isda susunod. What is the first pool? Healing and miracles. Jesus healed them. Yes. Brother Branham had a lot of miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. Para no, para ma-attract yung mga tao. Maraming sumunod dahil nakakain, dahil napagaling. Pero sabi niya, hindi pa yan yung rainbow trout. Hindi pa yan yung bright. Mga na-attract lang yan dahil nakakain at napagaling. So, ang gawin mo, is second pool mo. What is the second pool? Discernment and visions and prophecy. Nag-prophesy na si Lord. Na, na-discern niya yung mga puso ng mga pariseyo. Even the ministry of Brother Branham, the same way he could discern the intents of, and the hearts of the people. He could reveal their names, where they live. Amen. That was the, the second pool. But, sabi niya, don't pull harder. But when the third pool, sabi niya, yung revealing of the word, yung mystery, tsaka mo hatakin because that we pull the, the rainbow trout, the biggest fish, which is the elect of God, mga kapatid. So, hindi tayo na-attract because of the miracles and mysteries. Amen. The bride will be attracted to the revelation. Amen. 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 Hallelujah! Not the healing ministry, but it's the message that comes after the healing. Amen. That will bring you the rapture, the prophet said, mga kapatid. Yeah. Kaya don't, don't just come to church and look for miracles right. and look for uh, discernment. That's all part of God, but that's only the warm part. Amen. Huwag kayo mabusog sa sa uod lamang. Sa bulate, mabusog kayo doon sa tinapay ng buhay, yeah. ang salita ng Diyos, the bread of life, the revelation of the Lord. Amen. We are beyond Pentecostalism. Yes. Reverend said you cannot feed Pentecostal babies with supernatural things. Right. Pentecostals are looking for speaking in tongues, for dancing in the spirit, for miracles, but the bride is gone beyond that. Yes. That was only the mouth, the speaking in tongues. Amen. Amen. But we're now in the eye age. The prophet, when, the, when he came, it was the eye age because he was a seer. But after he went away, we are now in the intelligence, the mind age. It started on the feet in Luther, Wesley, the body, Pentecostal, the mouth, and then the eyes, the prophetic age. Now we are in the intelligence age. Let the mind of Christ be in you, the mysteries revealed. I hope you can follow my brother and sister. Dahil this is the meat of the season. Alam niyo hindi na tayo dapat gatas. Alam niyo ang agila hindi yan kumiinom ng gatas. Karne ang kinakain niya. The first three beasts, lion, calf, and man, they are mammals. Sumususo sila sa nanay nila. Ano yung sinususo nila? Gatas. Pero pagdating ng agila, Pagka pakanak pa lang ng agila, karni na kagad ang hinahanap. Amen. 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 Hindi po gatas. Kaya, praise God, huwag na tayong gatas lang palagi. Hindi, hindi po mabubuo ang mga fake muscles mo sa gatas. Kailangan mo ng solid meat. Yes. The spiritual food in juices. Mga kapatid. Kaya pagpalain kayo ng ating Panginoon sa mga ganito. Kaya yan ang ating nagangga. Nagangga na 